Hi, it's Mark at Urban Automotive, local Ontario, Canada, just showing you about our brakes and what we do. We've taken the old rotor off of this car and we're going to install the new rotor. Before we do that, we hit this little hub with a little bit of grease there. Make sure that that moves nicely. And we put our new rotor up in here. And it comes with a little fancy screw that holds it on. So one of our big things that we do here is our caliper brackets. This is where your brake pads sit. Come on in here, please, with the camera. These are your brake pads in the caliper bracket from the other side. As you can see, that they don't really move as well as they should, and that's because they get stuck. Things get dry. Things need to be lubricated. Over here, what we've done is we've cleaned and sandblasted our bracket. As you can see, we cleaned the pins. There's the pin there. And this is what the pin normally comes with some lubricant on it. It has to come with some lubricant. We have more lubricant. We've got blue or purple. We're gonna do the purple today. What do you think? We'll do the purple. Royal purple here. And we'll lubricate those pins so that that moves in and out nicely. What we also do Oh, yeah, I love that sound. You put it here on the bottom of this caliper bracket. I know some people are wondering why, what's the difference? There is no difference in purple or blue. It does the same thing. This is going to prevent rust from building up underneath those clips, which are these clips that then hold the brake pads on. And here at Urban, we'd like to make sure everything works nice and clean. We double check everything, make sure it's all good. Let's go again with the purple. As you can see, I don't really, I'm not a big nail polish guy, obviously. I've never painted my nails, but I do a pretty good job on this. A little bit of Urban Automotive humor. This bracket then gets installed here onto this with a couple of these bolts that we've cleaned as well. If I can maybe manual. I'm going to have to put that on. We put a little bit of this copper anti-seize on these bolts to help them go in and work better. We don't have a tool to tighten this up here right now, unfortunately. Should have had that ready, but it's on the other side. Let's assume that this bracket is tight. These brake pads, here's the new brake pads. They're going to go installed here. They're going to move nicely. Wrong pad. Where's the other pad? Pad right here in the box. You see the two pads are different. One is thin and one is thicker. The thin one's going to go out here. that the spring action of these clips is what's actually going to easily pull back your pad. You will then put the caliper on, tighten up the bolts, bleed the brake, and away you go. Not only do we, what you're seeing here is when we're replacing the pads and rotors, when we're doing a caliper service, we're taking this all apart, we're cleaning it just the same, putting it together and making sure that you can stop safety. Urban Automotive, safety first.